this is Cody, and you're watching B-Boy 45, broadcasting from the Seacrest Studios. We've got another special edition of the latest news to keep you in the groove with Maya. Maya, who do we have on the phone today? I mean, the video chat. <laughs> the video chat. <laughs> um, Maria Thayer. Maria! Hey, there she is! You? <laughs> <laughs> you might know her from those who can't. We're so excited to talk to you. Maya, take it away, girl. Um... So, uh, who or what um, made you want to start acting? Uh, who or what? I don't know. I think I was bad at sports. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's good. It's a good alternative. Do you want me to, you know... No, I just, no, you're I, good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I tried t-ball and I wasn't um, very good at it. And um, um, and actually, my my dad lived in Montana, and he sent me um, he it, he had uh, he sent me a coyote tail, like the actual <laughs> tail of a coyote, and I I pinned it to the back of my my little t-ball shorts, and so I was like. Good at t-ball in a theatrical way, but bad at t-ball in like an actual hitting the ball kind of way. So maybe that's like just like okay, this one part of this game I I am good at, and this other most almost all the game I'm bad at. So I'm just going to go for this this part where I get to like wear a costume. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I always like every um, like. All the time at school, I'm, I always tell people I don't understand why anybody would want to play football because I don't understand why you'd want to play a game where people are running at you. That's right. <laughs> yes, 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 for like violent purposes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, I almost like go into turtle mode, like when people are just coming at me in the hallway. So, you know what? I do that too. I, I, um, I, when I was, there's been a couple of times when people have for, not scared me to, to like hurt me, but they've like jumped out, uh, j jumped out, like just surprised me. And I, instead of running, I always fall down. <laughs> so, I guess I go into turtle mode, too. It's not, I don't know if it's a good survival technique. There's, there's fight or flight or turtle, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We're turtles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, you, um, so you play Abby in Those Who Can't, and I love that show, and I'm so excited Thanks. for the third season. Um, and so, um, Abby, she's hilarious, and, um, like, in an episode in season two, she joins a girl gang, which <laughs> is, I love that episode. I like um, that episode, too. And, uh, do you ever have to do multiple takes of a scene because it's so hard not to crack up? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. It's, it's, it's really fun when that happens, but it's also awful because it's, um, you're keeping everyone, especially sometimes you get, I, it doesn't happen that often because we're all very professional, but, um, um, uh, yeah, it's it's really fun, but also it sucks because you're keeping everyone. You want to get it right because everybody's at their job and you're slowing it down. But um, yeah, I'm trying to think of of times when. I mean, everybody's made me crack up. I, I feel like some stuff with Andrew has really uh, killed me. Um, um, but yeah, it's really the uh, yeah that ha that definitely happens that we have to do multiple takes because. I, I'm giggling. Or, or <laughs> something. Um, so, do you have a favorite episode of Those Who Can't? Um, um, uh, what is my favorite episode? Is there um, one that's all about your character? What did you say about my character? Is, is there one that's all about your character? Yeah, that's, that's my favorite. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um um uh yeah i don't have a favorite i mean i have favorite um um 
I don't know. I I I, I love the. Uh, um, God, sorry. I'm like I'm like. I'm like blanking on everything right now. It's been so it's been so long, you know. Um, um, I, I can't remember my favorite episode of anything right now. Um, <laughs> That's okay. If you were like but Maya, do, you'd do watch love, it on I do repeat. Love, I mean, I I, I I do love. Um, um, you know, I, I think that, that all of the stuff that these guys write, it's they're all so talented and it's all so creative and crazy you know I, I i love that it's it's grounded but it also you can go off into these like insane worlds where you know, um uh uh you know like like abby quits school and, and goes and becomes a um uh you know a, a meter maid <laughs> or like you know yeah that's fun <laughs> yeah um so how did you get connected with um, Ben Roy, um, Adam Caton Holland, and Andrew okay. Orvidal? And how did you get connected with those who can't? Well, I, I, I met them. I met all those guys uh, years ago at a comedy festival where we were all in the back seat of a um, van. <laughs> going to some, <laughs> going to some other <laughs> part of the festival, and um, they started talking to me. And um, I love comedy. I, I I work in comedy, but I don't know that much comedy, so I didn't know. But I mean, they're them, but they are you know very well regarded. And and um, um, I'm just um, very uh, um, out of it. Um, but I like, know, like, like, uh, you know, the Marx brothers, <laughs> those are like my comedy references. Um, um, so, but, but I did have a really great conversation with them. And, um, um, and then when this show came up, I, 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 had, or then I, by that time point, I'd, I'd watched some of their videos and I had heard about the show cause it had been at, um, Amazon before it came to true TV. So it was really fun. They weren't my friends, but they're they're very warm people, and um, it was really I had to I audition, and it was really a fun audition, um, and uh, I got the part, which I was really happy about. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So the answer is in a van. Yeah, in yeah. the back of a van. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Where all great showbiz stories start. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's your arm doing? Your arm do, doing okay? Holding up the phone? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, great. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just like looking at the back. I'm just like, how dirty is my kitchen? It looks no, beautiful. It looks great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah. Like the butterfly tiles or something. Those are very nice. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you were in the Ooh. movie uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, and so my family and I love that movie, and so it looked like it was um, really fun to film. Um, mm-hmm. So do you do you have any fun memories from the set? <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I do. I uh, that you can tell at well, Children's Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was, um, I was, um, I, I, mostly because I was in Hawaii for six weeks. Yeah, that was I rough, only, huh? I only, I only shot one day a week. So I, um, it, it was both wonderful and awful because I had six days and I didn't have a car. So I had six days on this resort <laughs> for six weeks. And that sounds wonderful, but also it started to get like, you know, you're just in a, like, on a resort. And, and, um, and Jack McBrayer, who's a good friend of mine, who played my um, husband in it, he was on my same schedule. So we would just get up and just lay by the pool. I mean, I uh, eat at the buffet. We got to know everyone that worked at the hotel. Uh, yeah. Be- and then I'll, yeah, that, that's, that, that was, and I started to go, like, island, island like, island stir crazy. <laughs> um, cool so but yeah <laughs> cool um so i've loved everything you've been in like um will and grace and brooklyn nine nine uh, um arrested development and um the movie table 19 uh-huh um and strangers and- with candy what what 
<laughs> yes. <But> what? <laughs> um, so is the one project you... Oh, and of course, those who can't. Um, and is the one project you've done that has a special place in your heart? Uh, I mean, Strange with Candy definitely does because it was my first first job out of school um I mean it wasn't my first job first job but it was my first big job and it didn't even feel big at the time it felt like I was still like I was working on Surge with Candy and also coat checking and um <laughs> um and you know I was in like plays downtown and I was you know there were some days when I I would coat check until like two in the morning and then have to get up at six in the morning to go again, a van. I had to go <laughs> from Brooklyn to New York to Manhattan to like pick up the crew, the, the crew van on like 86th and third, you know, at six in the morning, I was like getting into another, the back of a van to go to work. Um, but I just, I, I'm so, I'm so happy with that, with, with how that has, is remembered. And, um, and it was just your first job is always a um, an amazing experience, and um, that was a special one, you know, to work with Stephen Colbert and Amy Steris and Paul Danello, um, yeah, um, Greg. It was it, like it was it was really special. But I've had a lot of. I mean, I, I'm also like the other things are just like I did a musical in the park in Central Park. A couple years ago, that was so fun and was really a dream job, um, um, and chicks in in, in in New York. Um, yeah, I've had I've, I've there's been Table Nineteen was actually super fun too. So all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that a pretty boring answer? Every no. single job I've ever had is has been wonderful. No, there's been, there's been some some bad ones too. <laughs> we'll stick with the happy ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, table nineteen was really funny. <laughs> it is really funny, and I do, and I love, I love um, working on those who can't. Like, I love those guys. I have so much respect for for them and their their talent and their humanity. They're all all great guys too, which is rare. And um, yeah, anyway, I really, I I I like I like doing that that show a lot. Cool. Um, is there someone you've met that you've been completely starstruck by? Um, yeah. Yeah, there has been. Um, 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 but, oh my God, why am I, um... They were such a big deal. You forgot. Such a big name. deal that they I forgot erased your, your brain. Um, um, That's okay. Um, it's just because I'm. I can't remember anybody's name. Oh my god! This just is so what have they been in? Uh, um, they've been in sixteen candles. Molly Ringwald. Molly Ringwald. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, Molly Ringwald. Sorry, I just had a brain problem. But <laughs> Molly Ringwald. Um, I did one of my first movies with Molly Ringwald, and I. She's probably the person that I've been the most starstruck by because I loved her so much as a kid. And she, it's it's not like the biggest tragedy to be a redhead when you're a kid. There's certainly <laughs> a lot of other things, but I did not. And it was it was not. People did not not make fun of me um, 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 when, for for being a redhead. So Ed when Sheeran I saw, said the same thing. What'd you say? Ed Sheeran, when he was in our studio, said the same thing. He got oh, a lot really? of yeah. He got a lot of flack for being a redhead for some reason. Yeah, so um, uh, I, yeah, that's, it's just like, the, it's just didn't, I feel like it's probably worse for guys, but um, um, yeah, it was rough. So I, I, uh, I was just happy to meet somebody that I really loved uh, that, uh, uh, that, that, that meant something to me when I was a kid. And she's great. And she's also like very smart and wonderful. And so that was the person. Molly Ringwald. Like. Cool. Yeah. Um. Is there a show that you're currently binge watching? I just watched, uh, binge watched um, um, Bojack Horseman. <laughs> Do you know that show? I've heard of it. It's about a cartoon horse. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good. I mean, not but it's really good. It's about a cartoon horse and it's really good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you, do you have a recommendation for me? 
Um, How much time do you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Um, well, trial and error. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You know what's so embarrassing is one of my best friends um, works on that show and I haven't watched it. But that makes me happy that you say that. Do you like the new season too? Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, I will watch tell, that. Tell your friend. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> um so uh what's your yeah. favorite show of all time uh the sopranos have you seen that show no <laughs> it's my Sorry. favorite show of all time. <laughs> that might be for that might be for older kids yeah definitely for teenagers young adults for yes. sure but it is, yes. a, it is, a, it is a good show for my favorite my favorite show of all time for kids is Gosh, I guess it's Mr. Rogers. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Great pick. Great pick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've been basically just watching Trial and Error. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <Right> now, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm Stuck seriously going to binge it now. I can't believe it took an inter- this interview to make me watch my friend's show. But. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Sorry, friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, what what movie could you watch a million times? I well, um, what movie can I watch a million times? I mean, I watched um, uh, what is that Christmas movie? Uh, uh. I mean, I've wa- I don't. I'm not somebody that watches movies a lot over and over and over again. Um, if any rom- if like o- those old romantic if, with Harry Met Sally, I probably could watch a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. There, there's movies that I don't go back to, but if they're on television, it's really like it's a it's a it's a joke. But if I see the Shawshank Redemption on television, I probably will finish watching it. I will also do the same. (laughs) 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 Um, Yeah. uh, So, if you could have any, oh, sorry, I just thought of something. (laughs) I have a movie recommendation. Oh, Oh, you do for me? Great. Yeah. Your friends probably in it. This is a dual interview where I get to, I get to find out what I should watch. What is it? Please tell Um, me. It's uh, a Reese Witherspoon movie <gasps> called Home yes. Again. Oh, well, she, yes, yes. It's Where she one. goes home and she, is Matthew McConaughey in it? No, I think that's Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, that's what I was thinking about, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, Home Again is uh, one of her newer movies that came okay. out last I year. Have- I haven't so, seen that one. Okay. It's so I'll, good. I'll, I'll watch it. That's, that's totally in my wheelhouse. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now you got some watching to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you could have any song playing to announce your entrance, what would it be and why? <laughs> um... The first thing that comes to mind, but it's not my personality, but I just love Prince so much, is um, um, his song, um, uh, Baby, I'm a Star, uh, from the Purple Rain album, because it just goes, uh, what, is, what are the lyrics? Uh, I, I know that one, one of the lyrics is like, hey... I got no money, but baby, I'm rich on personality. <laughs> That's <laughs> Which awesome. I like. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, perfect. Uh, you know. Cool. Pro- pr- probably if I had more time to think about it, it'd be something like more torch songy because that's usually why where where i go for for music <laughs> not necessarily anthems. <laughs> <laughs> um do you have a motto or quotation that you live by? No, I wish I did. Um, you don't uh, have to have one. It's okay. No, or- but I just, you know, I just, uh, maybe just, and it's very simple, but like, at least right now, this is what I'm thinking is like, you just, you just do your best and forgive yourself. Oh, nice. You know, that's, that's great yeah, advice. Right? That's not bad. Yeah, that, no, no, that's great advice. That's 
Yeah. And just tag it on is. the back of a van in there somewhere and you're good to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> always, always get in the back of vans. Right. Yeah. Wait, you should not do that. Yeah, no, don't bad, do that. Bad advice. Oh. Bad advice. <laughs> bad advice. Especially yeah. not black vans. No. Yeah. Any Unmarked color. vans, stay away from. Yeah. Yeah. Stay away from. This is terrible advice, especially to give children. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They always know we're teasing. It's right, okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah. Um yeah, my mom texted me once saying she was like in a black car and I said, Okay, do you have candy? And she said, Yeah. Going <laughs> yes. back to Maria's first show, Strangers with Candy. There you go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, uh, so um, who do you consider to be a real-life superhero and why? Uh, well, uh, the lady that is testi- testifying today, Christine mm. Ford, is probably, mm. she seems like a real-life hu- superhero to me right now. No yeah. joke. Uh, yeah. Well, she- you think no joke, yeah. Yeah. She did, a, she did a great job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a great example. Yeah. yeah. People who stand up for what they think is right. Yeah. Yeah, and just being, she's just been, she just like purport, purported, purported herself. I don't know. She, she, she was just so simple and, um, and clear about why she was there and what she was saying and what she knew and what she didn't know. And she was great. Hmm. Yeah. That's right. great. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, was that your last question? Uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey. It was really nice to meet you guys. You too. Yeah, Maria, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm sorry that I um, I can't read emails uh, <laughs> with, with multiple times in them, but I'm glad I didn't get too far away from my house. Yeah. Well, we're... Yeah, we'll- Go ahead. Yeah. Mike. Thank you so much for calling in. I love talking to you. I love talking to you too. <laughs> have a good rest of the day. And if you're you, ever you in too. Denver, come in and see us here at the Seacrest Studio. We'd love to have you. Okay, great. I uh, will. All, all right. right, take care. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.